me put a thumbnail on this video so people know what time it is. There we go. Thumbnail. Activated. Duh. Be forgetting. Got to edit a bunch of live streams after this. Put hashtags and stuff. Ugh. Wish it would just automatically do it. In screens. Stuff that I can't do from the main screen. Subscribe. Ten. Ding. There we go. Y'all. 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 Oh, snap. Look at all these people up in here. Dollar Silver. First one in the building. Yes, sir. Bake the pizza. About, about to eat this. About to eat some pizza and, and watch the live stream. My evening was good. Thank you for asking, my brethren. My evening was good. Been a busy day. I wanted to make a TikTok conspiracy theory video for y'all. But um, I got hungry. I wasn't even really that hungry. My body was just super weak. I was like shaking and I needed food. So I went and got me some Chipotle. I only ate a little bit of it, just enough to get my 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 energy up and to stop shaking. I'm feeling better now. Um, I made a video for the second channel. That was a good video. So if y'all need some more content from your boy, head over there to the second channel. For those of y'all that don't know the name of it, it's called... A different perspective where we talk about different social issues I got plenty of content coming for that channel as well FTL baby first time live it's your first time hanging out with your boy oh by the way moderator Steve put me on to something he put me on to something so Steve and some of my other moderators have the capability of going in and seeing the details of every single comment that gets left during these live streams they could see how many times you've put FTL in the chat. So if you put it more than once, you're a liar. <laughs> I was like, what? Really? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, people asking about my weekend. My weekend was good. Short. Short as always. And, oh, man, I, I was busy. I was busy this weekend. And I was busy, like, trying to do stuff around work, right? And, and. And, and e-commerce and all this type of stuff and trying to learn and adapt and grow and I'm about to embark on something tomorrow evening that I'm super super excited about and actually we're starting this live stream early because I got some stuff um, that I need to do with my business partner after this so I got to get up out of here so I can go and meet up with him and do some stuff for our other business outside of the realm of content and YouTube and stuff. But yeah, your boy got stuff going on. Your boy trying to make some moves, trying to make some things happen. And I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited about all of it. But we're about to do some shout outs to everybody, all the mod, all the mods and channel members that are in here. Dollar Silver already shouted you out, Sabrina. Second channel member in the building, Kristen, first mod in the building. Miss Hatcher, how you doing today, young lady? Cara, Michelle, how you doing? Deshaun, what's good with you? Mark, Knitting and Crochet, what's popping? Claire, what's good with you? Long Wolf, Zaki, I see you up in here. Omar, what's popping? Linda, Cesar, it's been a minute. Where you been at, my guy? <laughs> Candice, Raquel, Daniel, Key Simone, Erica, what's up? Love Me 23, I feel like it's been forever in the day. Where has she been? And we missing somebody else, y'all. Y'all know who we missing. We ain't seen it here in a hot minute. I ain't even gonna say her name. She she know who she is. Y'all know who she is. <laughs> Libby, what's good? Amanda, uh, Antonio, April C was popping. Keen, Keen Tube, sounds familiar. <laughs> Caroline was good with you. Raquel Douglas, McNoni. Yeah, we is in here. Is that Kylie? K I L L I A, Kayla, Kayla, Kayla. Wavy was popping. 
Yeah, Domes, Anitra, Justice, Miss Panda. Y'all, we is here, and it's time. What up, AOK -okay Mafia? It's your boy, Art of Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. Happy Monday, everybody. I hope y'all had a fantastic weekend. I hope it didn't go by too fast for you. Mine, mine was decent. I had a really good weekend, as a matter of fact. A really, really good weekend. Heck, my week ended off strong. My week ended off strong last week. Um, that led up to a good weekend. You know, just good vibes, good energy around the right people. It always uh, makes for your days and time that much better. But um, real quick, because I didn't tell y'all this before. For every channel member and Patreon member that cop the hoodies, the... Karen hoodies and the alien the real hoodies y'all are not getting just the regular hoodies that everybody else gonna get y'all is gonna get some exclusive hoodies y'all are getting the aok -okay mafia hoodies on the sleeve I already announced this on patreon yesterday on the sleeve of the hoodies is going to say aok -okay mafia those are going to be limited that's just for this week of pre-orders only after this week that will no longer be available. It'd just be the regular Aliens of Real hoodies and Karen hoodies. It, just like y'all have seen before. But for this week, the Mafia hoodies. For every Mafia member that's a channel member or Patreon supporter. I didn't tell y'all that before. My bad. Slipped my mind. But I will be shutting down the website. Or no, no, no. I'll be shutting down pre-orders this Friday. I'll be opening the website back to the public. So for everybody else that's not a channel member or everybody that is outside of YouTube will be able to log back in or get back onto the website wide open to the public. And all that pre-order merchandise that's on there right now, it won't be available. <laughs> it won't be available for at least another two weeks. <laughs> and then I'll be opening up a pre-order or maybe three weeks. I'll be opening up a pre-order um, one more time for other people that's going to be coming in later on so yeah the website is going to be back up all the pre-order stuff on there is going to be removed so this will be the last week that you can do pre-orders for another three weeks but heck i just got word today that the um the blankets have been shipped so the blankets are on their way the blankets are on their way uh people that just ordered the blankets y'all be getting y'all's a lot sooner but um yeah be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. The stuff is arriving, and I'm super, super excited about it. Ugh, can't wait. But time to get into this video. Y'all, I'm going to need y'all to spam the chat with a slap in the ham. Y'all know where it's at for slap down. Y'all, we got some new channel members in the building already. Oh, thank, that reminds me. If you head over to the community tab right now on YouTube, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what that looks like because um, not everybody knows what that means when I say that. But let me show you what the community tab and how to access it looks like. So, if you go to my channel and you see this button right here, it says community. You click on the community tab and it'll bring you to this post right here. That post is for channel members only. That's where you go to get access, to get a password so that you can get into the website. Please, nobody put it in the chat. That's just for you community, um, that's just for you channel members only. All right? So head over there, community tab, get your password to get into the website. Don't put it in the chat. We're, 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 we're public to everybody right now. Anyway, enough talking. We got two videos tonight. The first one, y'all see, it's Slap Ham. Go ahead and spam the chat with the Slap and Ham. Brandon gifted 10 channel memberships. Y'all look, he just gave 10 more people access to the website. And we got a few people that joined and became channel members just in the time that I've been talking, but I'm about to stop rambling. I know y'all tired of hearing me talking, but I have to update you guys. I'm sorry. It's time to get into the video. These weird videos will have you pointing at the TV like DiCaprio. These titles just keep getting more and more creative. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. 
How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the most mysterious videos going around the internet. So smash that subscribe button right now and get ready for some creepy content. Just like this. From the eerie outskirts of Riverland Berry, South Australia, a peculiar piece of CCTV footage has emerged leaving one slapped ham viewer, Kayana S, perplexed and unnerved. Positioned adjacent to a cemetery, Kayana's home security camera inadvertently captured a scene that defies conventional explanation. I think it was Goose Pimples or somebody that posted this video recently. We've seen this before. Take a look. Let's see what slap ham explanation he got. That didn't come out my mouth right. Happy birthday. Wow, she just Katia. got teleported there. No sh and she's ready to walk again. Can't you? Cut. A figure clad in a suit and clutching a briefcase materializes into view. Wayne, welcome. First, hey, FTL, bro. First time live. Raquel, thank you. Wow, she just got teleported there. No sh and she's ready to walk again. Mm -hmm. Kayana wonders whether we're seeing a time traveler caught on camera. I can see her on this camera. Bang. I seen her. Speculations. I just thought about something. Big brain energy just kicked in right now. Think about this for a second. If you can teleport, you're a time traveler. Period. Rather, you're teleporting the same day at the same time, you're still a time traveler. Let me explain. Let's say I can teleport from Atlanta to California in one second I'm a time traveler because that time difference is like three to four hours I just went from 7 p.m. in Atlanta to 4 p.m. in California that's time travel the distance and the time that it takes to fly from Atlanta to California the fact that I just skipped all of that, that's time travel. Any degree of teleportation is time travel. Tell me it's not. Tell me it's not. Swirls as viewers dissect the mysterious occurrence. The figure's attire and abrupt appearance lends credence to the time traveler hypothesis. Somebody said the time stamp jump, but my thing is I don't see a time stamp. However, as discussions brew among the slap tam community, theories abound. Is this a glitch in the fabric of time, or could there be a rational, albeit unconventional, explanation awaiting discovery? Wow, she just got teleported there, no sh and she's ready to walk again. A Reddit user by the handle jhood3119 has stirred a wave of unease on the popular Humanoid Encounters subreddit with a chilling piece of CCTV security footage. The clip, purportedly captured in upstate New York, offers a perplexing glimpse into an eerie nocturnal encounter. According to the OP, the footage originates from a security camera installed by a friend troubled by inexplicable disturbances unsettling his dog. As the video unfolds, a figure, gaunt and peculiar, slithers stealthily across the property. Definitely remember this clip as well. All the while, the homeowner, armed with a flashlight, can be seen on the far right of the screen. Notably, the dog follows the stranger with its eyes in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Yeah, I was just trying to check to make sure we haven't seen this video already. I was looking in my archives of videos that we recently watched last week, and this title wasn't in there, so... This unsettling footage raises a myriad of questions, prompting speculation and conjecture within the online community. Is this an elaborate hoax, or does it offer a genuine glimpse into the unknown? Let me know where you land on this peculiar piece of CCTV footage in the comments down below. Y'all see I got on the Karen shirt today? Still available for pre-order. 
Recently, a peculiar image emerged over on our Slaptam Facebook community group, courtesy of one of our viewers, Robin J. Bro. Robin recounts a chilling experience from her visit to Salem, Massachusetts a couple of years back. We saw this clip last week too. While exploring the historic graveyard and surrounding areas with her sister, Robin decided to capture a snapshot of one of the town's oldest homes. Upon reviewing her photographs later, Robin made a spine-tingling discovery. In one of the images, she noticed an unexpected presence. Bro, that John looks so weird. A figure peering out from a window of the ancient house. It makes no sense. Because it looked like it's sitting on the outside of whatever this fencing or, or gate to this window is. It looked like it's a small being just sitting right there. What makes this sighting particularly eerie is Robert John Hudson, bro. I have no idea why shipping to Australia costs that much. Shipping out of America to another country, I have no idea why that is. I can't even do anything about it. It's the sad part. But you can ship to America for a lot cheaper than you could ship out of America. I don't control it. Could this be the spectral manifestation of a denizen from Salem's past? So what are your thoughts on Robin's eerie encounter? Do you believe she captured a ghostly visage from centuries past? Or is there a more mundane explanation lurking behind the window pane? Yeah, Mark, we've seen all these clips on Friday already. Um, I think when we covered uh, Goose Pimples video, it was like all brand new. All these clips were brand new. But Slap Ham, it looked like he might have got a hold to the same ones maybe? Or did... I don't think we covered this video. I don't remember this title. I just looked and see, and I don't know. I don't know. Let me scroll forward a little bit to see what's coming next. Yep, we saw that. We saw that too. And we definitely saw that. You know what? Maybe we did see this video. <laughs> My bad. Look, things did not come up how they were supposed to. I sorry's. I sorry's. I'll make up for it. That's crazy, because it's not showing that we did this bit. I don't understand. I have no idea. I don't remember that title. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong many of times before. <sighs> Let's see. I oh, think we saw that one, too. Nah, I'm playing. This this the one. This the one right here. 10 scary videos to make skeptics think twice. Goose pimples. They usually read a book, hang out with friends, or exercise. But this dude explores creepy abandoned buildings at stupid o'clock in his spare time. Little does he know, he's about to understand the reason why his parents keep telling him that this might not be the wisest of hobbies. Goose pimples. Because tonight, things take a sudden turn into the realm of panic, where curiosity may indeed prove costly for him. I want to make up for that slap ham with another one. It all starts when you decide to check out an older bro i swear to god have we seen this too 
This is ruining the live stream right now. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Give me a second here. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is completely ruining the live stream. I know we haven't seen this one. How you doing? I'm Cam. Alan, and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some really unsettling content that's being shared on socials right now. It kills me. They be using the same freaking videos in their videos and they be videoing. <laughs> so hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. <sighs> In the realm of the paranormal, tales of haunted objects and cursed artifacts have long captivated the imaginations of thrill-seekers and skeptics alike. Among these eerie relics, few are as notorious as the portrait of Henrietta Nelson, a painting said to harbour the restless spirit of its subject. And in the confines of her ancestral home, Yaxley Hall, nestled in the picturesque English town of Eye. Legend has it that Henrietta met her demise in a fatal fall down a flight of stairs within the Grand Estate. In accordance with her final wishes, she was laid to rest in the mausoleum on the sprawling grounds of Yaxley Hall. However, fate had other plans for Henrietta's eternal repose. Subsequent owners of Yaxley Hall, unaware or perhaps heedless of the property's grim history, chose to dismantle the mausoleum, disturbing Henrietta's final resting place. Her remains were relocated to a nearby church, an act that would unwittingly set off a series of unsettling events. According to local law, Henrietta's restless spirit began to manifest itself upon the desecration of her tomb. Tales emerged of a ghostly figure wandering the grounds of Yaxley Hall, perpetually seeking her way back to her intended resting place. Yet it's not the spectre alone that has instilled fear in those who dare to tread upon the estate's hallowed grounds. Pause. What did they do here? It looked like they built three different houses and stuck them together. They glued them together. It's the portrait of Henrietta herself that's become the focal point of the haunting. Painted by the artist William Johnson, the portrait of Henrietta Nelson is said to carry an otherworldly presence, imbued with the essence of its subject's tormented spirit. Witnesses who have beheld the painting claim to have experienced chilling encounters, with Henrietta's visage seemingly morphing before their very eyes. Mm -hmm. Some have reported seeing her face contort and change shape, while others claim to have witnessed a pale figure clad in identical attire to the woman in the portrait wandering the estate's corridors. Despite attempts to rid Yaxley Hall of the cursed painting, Henrietta's ghostly presence is said to persist, bound to the portrait that serves as her eternal tether to the mortal realm. The chilling legend of Henrietta Nelson and her cursed portrait continues to captivate the curious and the brave, serving as a haunting reminder of the mysteries that lie beyond the veil of the supernatural. Hmm. In the realm of art and legends, certain paintings acquire a notoriety that transcends their aesthetic appeal, weaving tales of mystery, tragedy and the supernatural. Among these artworks is Juan Luna's haunting masterpiece, simply known as The Portrait of a Lady. Behind its serene facade lies a chilling legend that's captivated the imaginations of art enthusiasts and skeptics alike. I freaking love this painting. I feel like this artist captured her so perfectly. The story behind the portrait is as captivating as it is unsettling. According to local law, the subject of the painting is Paspardo de Tavira, believed to be the wife of Juan Luna himself. However, the tale takes a dark turn with whispers of Luna's alleged involvement in Paz's untimely demise. Legends suggest that Luna, consumed by jealousy and rage, committed a heinous act, forever staining the portrait with the echoes of his crime. Yet it's not Luna's alleged misdeeds that imbue the painting with its sinister reputation. Instead, it's the belief that Paz's vengeful spirit now resides within the 1987 exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, where the portrait of a lady was prominently displayed. 
As visitors gazed upon the painting, a spotlight bulb hanging above the artwork inexplicably exploded. Some attributed the bizarre event to the malevolent influence of Paz's spirit, casting a shadow of fear over the unsuspecting attendees. However, despite the grim reputation that precedes it, the true identity of the woman depicted in the painting remains shrouded in mystery. While legend claims she is Paz Pardo de Tavira, historical records suggest otherwise, pointing to Angela Duche as the likely model for Luna's enigmatic creation. Yet, even with this revelation, the allure of the portrait of a lady and its chilling legend persists. Now that I've seen the actual pictures of her, the painting don't look nothing like her. I still like the painting though. Reminding us of the enduring power of art to both enchant and unsettle the human psyche. I love this painting. As the painting continues to cast its spell over those who dare to gaze upon its haunting visage, one can't help but wonder, is there truth to the legend or is it merely a product of our collective fascination with the macabre and the unknown? It's definitely captivating to me. Oh, she's pretty. She's really pretty. Steven says you should do a potato 99 an alien keychain that glow in the dark. You know what? People have been asking for keychains. I will look into it. Um, Steve, our moderator, um, one of our moderators, he was like, you should do the alien and the Karen um, blankets in glow in the dark. And I didn't even know that was an option. So I asked the manufacturers yesterday. I was like, hey, do y'all do glow in the dark blankets? They're like, yeah, we can. I'm like, why I didn't tell me that before? I was like, can we do some of these blankets in glow in the dark? They were like, let me check. Next thing I know, oh, the blankets are finished. I was like, damn it. I, if I knew ahead of time, I would have made the freaking alien blankets glow in the dark. Gosh. Oh, well, too late. In the realm of our tale. Bro, that's a huge painting. The people in that painting is life-size. I love it of mystery and intrigue often swirl around certain works imbuing them with an aura of mystique that transcends their visual appeal. Such is the case with the paintings of Ashil Gorky, a renowned artist whose creations have become shrouded in whispers of a chilling curse. Hmm? Ashil Gorky's artistic journey spanned from 1904 to 1938, during which time he produced a body of work that showcased his unique vision and profound talent. Interesting. However, alongside his artistic brilliance, Gorky's paintings also carried with them an air of foreboding, with rumours of a curse that seemed to follow them wherever they went. According to legend, Gorky's paintings were plagued by a series of inexplicable events. Reports surfaced of his artworks mysteriously falling from walls, bursting into flames without cause, and even being visited by a spectral figure described as a black-haired ghost clad in a blue overcoat. Paintings bursting into flames? Sounds demonic. The most tragic chapter in the saga of Gorky's paintings unfolded on March 1st, 1962, when American Airlines Flight 1 met a devastating fate. On board the ill-fated flight were 87 passengers, 8 crew members, and a precious cargo of 15 abstract paintings by Gorky. Tragically, the plane crashed into a swamp mere minutes after takeoff, claiming the lives of all on board and destroying the invaluable artworks in the process. But what lies behind the curse that seems to haunt Gorky's paintings? For Anthony Holslag, a researcher delving into the aftermath of the Armenian Genocide, the answer may lie in the profound symbolism embedded within Gorky's work. Paintings are weird. For many Armenian survivors, Gorky's paintings represent far more than mere art. They're poignant reminders of the losses suffered during the genocide, offering solace, identity, and a source of strength in the face of unimaginable adversity. As the legend of Arshil Gorky's cursed paintings continues to captivate the imaginations, one can't help but ponder the mysteries that lie within their brushstrokes. Are these mere coincidences, or is there a deeper, otherworldly force at play? It's so fascinating that you can take some something that looks basically so simple, like it's random shapes, right? It looked like anybody with some paint and a paintbrush can pull this off, but this could still pass as like acceptable high-end art. 
and mostly because of the size you know one thing when when i was painting and doing a lot of artwork it was deeply well not super deeply but embedded enough in the art scene people would say that i needed to paint bigger paint bigger it was like an obsession with painting bigger that people had like you, you got to have a big painting for it to be, be really be considered you know something that somebody would want to buy and it seemed like this artist just painted a bunch of big paintings of what looked like a child could do <laughs> i'm not hating it's just fascinating to me Edward Landseer's 1864 masterpiece, Man Proposes, God Disposes. Is Ooh, Man Proposes, God Disposes. I already love it. Not just a work of art. It's also steeped in chilling tales and superstitions that have captured the imagination of many. This haunting painting depicting two polar bears gnawing on the remnants of a doomed Arctic expedition. See, now this is a painting. Has become synonymous with eerie occurrences and foreboding omens. One of the most enduring legends surrounding this artwork revolves around a tragic incident at the Royal Holloway College. According to the story, a distressed student took their own life during exams using a pencil to inflict a fatal injury to their eye. Allegedly, this- You could die from a stab to the eye? That must have been a serious infection. Students scrawled the haunting words, the polar bears made me do it on their exam paper before succumbing to their tragic fate. What? However, despite the pervasive nature of this tale, there is no official record from the university confirming such a macabre event occurring in the picture gallery. Nevertheless, the law surrounding man proposes God disposes doesn't end there. Another widely held belief among students spanning several decades suggests that sitting in front of the painting during the exam is a surefire way to fail. This superstition has led teachers to take precautionary measures, such as covering the painting with a Union Jack flag during exam periods to ward off any potential ill effects. The painting's unsettling imagery, with its stark portrayal of the polar bears amidst a desolate arctic landscape, undoubtedly contributes to its eerie reputation. Landseer's meticulous attention to detail and the sombre atmosphere he creates have fueled speculation about hidden meanings and supernatural influences lurking within the artwork. Despite the absence of concrete evidence linking the painting to tragic events or academic misfortune, its unsettling aura continues to captivate and irk viewers. Whether it's the product of mere superstition or something more inexplicable, man proposes, God disposes, remains a haunting reminder of the mysterious and sometimes unsettling power of art. Facts. So the fact that the school isn't taking accountability for the potential death of this student caused by this this story of these bears and the student writing right before he stabbed himself in the eye that the polar bears made him do it the fact that they didn't document that makes me think one of two things it either didn't happen or they didn't want that to be like a case that they have on file on that school or in that school you know so the stories being told are just stories, but it could be eyewitness accounts that have been passed down through history, you know, from the people that was there and in the class, from the students and the teacher. You know what I'm saying? But it will forever only be stories. That's crazy. I love the painting, though. And the fact that they cover up the painting when students are taking exams because it is a bad omen. If it's that bad, why don't y'all just remove the painting from the school? Richard King's painting, Love Letters, created around 1990, holds a mysterious reputation that transcends its visual beauty. Hannah gifted five channel memberships. Make sure y'all thank her. School Hotel in Austin, Texas. This artwork is said to be haunted by the spirit of Samantha Houston, a haunted. tragic figure whose untimely demise has become intertwined with the painting's lore. I don't like this one, y'all. This one creeped me out. Legend has it that Samantha Houston, just four years old, met a tragic end when she fell to her death within the confines of the Driscoll Hotel. Really? The very place where King's painting now hangs. 
Since then, visitors to the hotel have reported eerie phenomena associated with the artwork. One of the most spine-tingling claims surrounding love letters is the alleged ability of the girl depicted in the painting to change her expression when no one's looking directly at her. What? Witnesses have reported that the girl's visage morphs into different emotions, seemingly reacting to the gaze of onlookers when they momentarily divert their eyes. Hmm? But that's not all. Guests who have dared to lock eyes with the haunting figure have reported experiencing unsettling physical sensations. Many have described feeling dizzy, nauseous or disoriented, as if the very act of observing the painting has plunged them into a state of unease. See, I told you, I, look, my intuition almost never fails me. Immediately when I saw this picture, I was like, I don't like this one. Something, something ain't right. Something ain't right. Look, you look into her eyes, you feel physical discomfort. Nope, not me. Some even claim to have felt sensations of floating or falling, adding to the sense of otherworldly presence that surrounds the artwork. Welcome back, Wood. It's worth noting that Love Letters is not an original creation by Richard King, but rather a replica of an earlier painting by Charles Trevor Garland, further adding layers to its mysterious history. Despite its origins as a mere rep, thank you, Misty, for the donut, big baby. Mutation far beyond its tangible form, drawing curious visitors from far and wide who seek to experience its eerie aura firsthand. Whether one believes in the supernatural or not, there's no denying the captivating power of love letters and the chilling tales that surround it. As visitors continue to flock to the Driscoll Hotel in search of encounters with the paranormal, the painting stands as a silent sentinel, its secrets locked within the haunting gaze of a young girl lost to time. Yes, I will be shouting everybody out at the end of the live stream that was copping some merchandise over the weekend and as well as during the live stream. So. Be on the lookout for your names at the end. It's a bunch of y'all. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a final piece of artwork that seems to haunt anyone who owns it, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. Mm -mm. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Y'all heard that? As we've already heard, the world of art is filled with tales of inspiration, creativity and the inexplicable. Among these stories, fewer as intriguing and eerie is that of Svetlana Talay's painting, The Rain Woman. Created in 1996 by the artist from Venezia, Ukraine, this haunting masterpiece has captivated audiences with its mysterious origins and unsettling legacy. Interesting. Talay's claim that the inspiration for the Rain Woman struck her after a prolonged period of feeling as though she was under constant surveillance. According to her account, she sat before a blank canvas when a vivid vision of the final painting materialized before her eyes. Hold on, y'all. I just thought about something. I just thought about something. The stories that we see and hear of these world famous artists of history are always men. I personally follow some phenomenal women artists. We don't hear enough story about female painters in history. That's messed up. Maybe the history has to be created now because the women that I see today are phenomenal. They are absolutely insane with their painting capabilities. Y'all, hit that like button for your boy. If we can get 800 likes by the end of the next video, because I found another video to make up for the last video, we'll do a third video. She described a sensation of being guided by an unseen force as if her hand was being controlled by an external presence. Over the course of five hours, Talay sketched the composition, then dedicated another month to refining its intricate details. Upon its display at a local art salon, the Rain Woman quickly drew attention, but not for the reasons one might expect. Multiple individuals who purchased the painting reported unsettling experiences after bringing it into their homes. They described a feeling of being watched, with some claiming to have seen a mysterious figure following them both in waking life and in their dreams. Oh no. One owner even reported seeing haunting wide eyes wherever he looked, 
prompting mm. him to return the painting with a desperate plea to be rid of its ominous presence. Despite its troubled history, the Rain Woman found a new home with musician Sergei Skatchkov in 2008. However, even this acquisition was not without its disturbances. Skatchkov's wife allegedly witnessed a ghostly figure wandering their apartment at night time, leading her to hide the painting out of fear. The eerie aura surrounding the Rain Woman has sparked speculation and debate, with some attributing its unsettling nature to supernatural forces. Archpriest Vitaly Golotskovich of the Transfiguration Cathedral in Venezia offered his perspective, suggesting that the painting's unsettling energy may stem from the emotional state of its creator at the time of its creation. Whether one believes in the paranormal or not, the Rain Woman remains a testament to the power of art to evoke emotion and provoke thought. Its mysterious origins and chilling legacy continue to fascinate and unsettle those who encounter it, leaving behind a lingering sense of unease that seems to defy explanation. Dean, yes, for sure, I do remember. That's why I was thinking that, you know, the history hasn't been made yet for women painters. It will be of the last era or two where, you know, where they'll have their, their moment. Sunrise, you got it right. And I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, this whole video was a hunted paintings video. Interesting. Uh, look, like I said, I was going to make up. I knew this was one we haven't seen. <laughs> but now it's time for the next one. I don't know why this thing keep jumping back. Let's see here. Uh, we did the, wait, did we? Yeah, we did that video. Hold on, let me, I thought I did get another one. Yeah, where's this one? I swear I got this one too. Oh, here it is. We've done Y'all, this video is titled 10 Scary Videos That Make Your Skin Crawl. Let's watch it. I, at its absolute quietest, this Filipino biker ended up in hospital after a minor incident just for a quick check or so he fought because it took ages to be seen. Bored and with very little to do, he decided to record a video for his girlfriend to show how empty the hospital was at that time. Little did he know that he'd capture way more than just empty beds and a sparkly clean floor. When his girlfriend got back to him, asking him to stop playing jokes, he didn't get it at first, but as he watched the footage back, it quickly became a bone-chilling realization that would haunt his dreams for nights to come. He wasn't really alone, after all. Take a look. Creepy. Right, now we're getting this video going, y'all. Now we're getting the video going. Oh, what? Those are feet. Those are legs. That wasn't my phone. Whose feet are those? What started as a fun, cheery video took a dark turn into a horrifying experience that left many scratching their heads for answers. The feet in the video appeared to be those of a pale, white, ghostly figure. But where did she vanish? Adding to the chilling mystery is the fact that the feet looked faded or white. Could it be the ghost of somebody who passed away in that hospital? Or a neatly done jump cut? What do you think? I'm going with neatly done jump cut because we've seen this video before. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Found a creepy video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at GoosePimplesYT. Also, if you enjoy scary videos like this, subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification every time we upload a new one. Number 9. Shadowy Figure Mystery Surely we've all had that moment where we felt someone was at our house when we were away, or that shadowy figure lurking in the corner of our eye. This family always thought they had some extraterrestrial oh, housemates the? until they got home one day and found CCTV footage that just about confirmed their worst fears. Take a look at this paranormal concoction that sent chills down their spine. Oh, it's moving! I thought somebody was something was standing right there. At first glance, it looked like no more than a shadow cast by a nearby object. 
Suddenly, the seemingly lifeless figure creeps to life and slivers ominously across the room. Uh, I think I feel like that was just a person looking down at their phone, hunched over like they got bad posture. No one was supposed to be in the house at that late afternoon hour. We were so curious that we kept replaying the video in a loop. The more uh, we looked, they, I swear they the more confusing the it was. Could it have been a burglar glancing a peek at his own phone? But why the serene stillness and the subsequent graceful movements? So unlike the frantic rummaging typical of most burglars, or perhaps it is the figure of a not-so-friendly ghost. Our ghosts now embracing technology. I was just about to say, since when do ghosts got cell phones? Navigating their afterlife with an otherworldly app? We'll leave it to you to unravel this mystery. Human! A eerie store surveillance. In the cool of the afternoon, somewhere in Indonesia, a store security camera caught a disturbing event that the owner and neighbors had a hard time believing. Take a look at the anomaly that was seen. Oh, I remember this. This is crazy, actually. The store owner was reviewing his CCTV footage when he noticed two dogs and their absurd behavior in the presence of an entity that didn't seem to be there. The figure appeared to be giving the dogs treats, but they were hesitant to approach the figure or take its treats, making the video more concerning. Could it have been otherworldly? Or was the camera so faulty that it somehow smeared the image of a person? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Hey, shout out to everybody that was pre-ordering the 5011's time merch, whether it was the tank tops, t-shirts, the, the hoodies. I don't own any 5011 time merchandise as of now. I'm waiting for all of it to get here myself. I'm, I'm excited. Hello? So when people go up there for camping or hiking, they are trapped with a sensation of dread and a feeling of being watched. Of the many areas laden with fear and unspeakable horror, a particular camping area is secluded from the rest, commonly used for deer hunting groups to station during their expeditions. This area sits far away from any other sites or park services and is called Site B08. On his night alone at Site B08, this camper captured something on camera that would forever change his perspective about the place. Here's what was caught. Hmm. As he was enjoying the peaceful breeze between the trees and cricket sounds, mm. he heard something more than an owl's hoot. He heard twigs snapping, which is never a good sign when camping alone at stupid o'clock. He described it as feeling like he had an unseen companion lurking in the shadows. So he started filming for a good number of minutes. What up, Brown Press? You good missed seat. it? Don't worry, it's pretty hard to spot. So let's slow it down and zoom in. Y'all, we got over 1,100 people in here. Hit that like button, 800 likes to get another video after this one. Ooh. You can clearly see the reflection of eyes as he pans the camera across the landscape. What was that? But as fast as it appeared, it vanished into the darkness what of the that? night as it ducked out of view. And as soon as he reviewed the video and saw those eyes... Burgundy, why you lying? Talking about some first time live. This is like your 5th eleven times. He darted out of there. Was it a bear? Oh my God, wait a minute, hold on. Out of there. Why is this bear so beautiful? Was it a bear? Why the hell would a bear be there and not attacking him? And ain't no bear. Also, how did it manage to vanish into thin air? Or perhaps the unfortunate souls of the many who decided to take their last breaths in that haunted forest still linger around Site B08. What are your thoughts on this one? Let us know. Number six, pulled. While this woman was talking with some of her family members, she felt a strong pull on her hair. A pull so strong that she hit her head on the chair. She initially discarded it as a prank from one of her grandkids, but it wasn't until they reviewed the CCTV footage to catch the pranksters that things took a disturbing turn. Take a look. Bro, she got 
They all seemed pretty engrossed in that conversation when the woman felt her hair get pulled. Yo, that's crazy. Strings? Or some kind of weird spasm? It's almost as if someone tugged her hair, but we couldn't see anyone close enough to her. Also, she'd reached for her hair as though she'd felt a touch in a genuine looking reaction. Yeah, that John looked mad believable. Yo, what a day. There was a ghost pull her hair. I believe it. I believe it. So it couldn't have just been a spasm. That's crazy. What if, just what if, it was an unholy presence that wanted to make itself known? I'll Since we don't have much of a backstory to the place, we'll let you decide about this one. Hey, Nicole McDonald just gifted five, count them, five channel memberships. Make sure y'all thank Nicole, because you know what she did for you? She just allowed five more people access to the website. Head over to my channel, click on the community tab. It's going to take you to the very first post where you can get the password to get into the website and to pre-order your merchandise. Thank you, Nicole. Number five, Bar Mystery. It was just another day at the office for this bartender when something that would make her question reality happened. Luckily, it was captured on camera. Let's watch. Okay, she filled it up, filled it up. Very nice, professional. Filled it up perfectly. And it fell over. After she filled the Stella glass with beer, she carefully set it down, but Perfect. as soon as she turned- She didn't even sit it on the edge, man. What the what? What happened to YouTube? Are we still alive? What the what? To get something else. Wait, hold on. What do you see? Hold on. Are we still? Okay, we still alive. I'm my screen just went black. The glass defied gravity and got mysteriously knocked over. I have never been on the other side of a bar counter, so You're I... a lie, Burgundy. You a lie. I don't believe you. Nah, I'm, I'm messing with you. I know that's why you said it. I wouldn't know if it were clumsiness, gravity playing tricks, or a mischievous poltergeist lurking about. The bar owners, perplexed by this uncanny event, were left scratching their heads in bewilderment, and so were we. Number four. Otherworldly photo bar. Ever found yourself in a mind-bending, inexplicable situation? Hold on, y'all, real quick. He uh, Hannah, shout out to the babies. Shout out to Lily, five years old, Aaron, three, Robert, two. Thank you guys for watching. It blurs the line between reality and fantasy. Well, one of our subscribers, Moonlight92, had one such experience and shared it with us on our Discord server. Here's the backstory. Back in 2010, she lived in a house which she, at the time, had no clue it was once a funeral home. Some weird, unexplainable things were happening in the house. But since she didn't believe in the paranormal, she always chalked it up to being normal. However, a couple of years later, after she'd moved to a new place, she found an old photo that seemed to hold the answers to years of unsolved mysteries. Take a look. This unexpected visitor crashes the sweet family moment by lurking ominously by the window. It's got the devil in the picture. You got, why y'all got this picture? Get rid of it. But this isn't your typical noisy neighbor. This photo bomber appears to have a creepy, distorted face. Now, one might argue that it's just a curious onlooker peering through the glass. But the figure's distorted appearance suggests otherwise when compared to the other faces. Despite the grainy resolution typical of a 2010 photograph, the faces of the others are as clear as day, leaving us to wonder, why does the third entity appear so hideous in comparison? Could we be missing something here? Let us know your thoughts and theories. But a huge shout out to Moonlight92 for sending this creepy picture on our Discord server. Yeah, we need about 165 more likes for one more video after this one. We got about less than eight minutes. Eight minutes with my talking, eight minutes. <laughs> 
to get 165 more likes for one more video. And then I gotta go after this. I, have, I, I physically have to leave. Number three, it's gone wrong. Our next video was sent by our dear viewer, Belina, on Instagram. The video is from the guys at the YouTube channel, Fashat and Jeez, who have a penchant for exploring old, creepy, abandoned buildings at night. But this time around, the paranormal came back to bite them in the ass. They went from Rambo mode with their full camo suits. To running for their spare pants in a heartbeat. But before you watch the bone chilling events that Hey, real quick, this has reminded me of something. If you have any paranormal videos or pictures and you would like for me to make a compilation video like this, send them to me at the AOK Talks and give me a full description so that I can give some context to what it is that we're viewing. The AOK Talks at gmail.com. I'll put it in the chat for you. Got them questioning their line of work. We first need to understand why they were there in the first place. They were called to investigate a village that was rumored to be tormented by a jinn. The locals had enough of being scared every night, so they took their ghost hunting tools to find out why. Right from the get-go, it was evident that the evil that ravaged the area was still lurking. <laughs> FTL baby They are immediately met by sounds that could have only been caused by someone on the roof This part of the village is said to be the paranormal hotspot but this was just a taste of what was to come Multiple creepy creatures can be seen lurking in the shadows by the window. Bruh! And were only what the heck? Them things was crawling on the roof. And they were big. Captured by the night vision camera. He couldn't see a thing with the naked eye. This was in the room right above them. Could it have been what made those sounds or sent the grass that way? What happened next shows that the danger might be closer than they think. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the like button too to help y'all out. They returned to the room where they had set up. Only to find that device rather mysteriously. Could they have had someone destroy it to add some credibility to their story? Or was it really time to pack up and leave? As they attempt to retrieve their things, the I want to give a huge collapse. sub. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Objects are thrown at them, and a heightened sense of hostility fills the area. They finally get the message and escape by the skin of their teeth. Of course, this could all just be a good piece of spooky entertainment, but what if it isn't? What if they really came face to face with something neither they nor the locals could ever explain? Creepy. Right? Number two, rodents from hell. It's not just paranormal videos that make your sweat run cold. These videos will have your heart racing faster than a sprinter on caffeine. Watch this. Yo, what the freak? What was running away from this homeless man? Whoa! Can't help but wonder how someone could have a colony of rats cozying under their covers and not be disgusted by them. It's over, Jerry. I mean, these critters are disease-carrying nightmares. <clears throat> I think this might be the real-life rat whisper <clears throat> from hands. Keep going, you 
And if you thought a cat could save you from this nightmare, you thought wrong. Felicia, send me a link to what you're talking about. Um, I might not be able to react to it on YouTube. And that's something, too, I'm going to tell you guys. So, Patreon. I've been throwing up movie reactions over there. I put up a movie reaction yesterday about the Lake Lanier movie. I rented it so you guys didn't have to. And I've been renting several movies and doing live, or doing live, not live stream, but I've been doing reactions and putting them on Patreon. Um, I'm about to... I heard there's four Korean movies, Korean horror movies that are really good. Like, you know, them Asians, they be making some, some jump scare type stuff like crazy. And yeah, so I'm about to start reacting to those four movies. Um, I want to do the first one like on Wednesday. So be on the lookout for that on Patreon. We've been having so much fun with those movie reactions. Yeah, but Felicia, send that to me. I might not be able to react to it on YouTube, but I'll definitely be able to react to it on Patreon. And there's so much more. Um, YouTube content paranormal stuff that if you guys have like want me to do that I can't do on YouTube I can definitely do it on patreon let me know hey, damn it. Let's do something with it get him get him it's not your buddy don't play with him oh look y'all becoming friends it's, uh, that little mouse is actually really cute though Tom and Jerry y'all we only need about 44 more likes for one more video Y'all got two minutes, 44 more likes. Don't worry. If you don't see them around the house, surely it has to mean your house is safe. Right? Bruh, the mouse is riding on the cat. This, that's Tom and Jerry. Tom, and that, which one is it, Tom or Jerry? Jerry is the cat, right? One of them. What's this rat doing? Is it taking out the trash? That's what it looked like. Like he about to pull the trash bag out the trash can. Yep. Look, if you gonna help take out the trash, I'm I'm okay with you being here. <laughs> Yo, he taking the whole bag. He took the trash. He took the whole bag, and then he gonna go back make sure I got it. All right, we good. Well, Bruh. apparently, when these guys aren't wreaking havoc in your house or crawling out of unimaginable places, they have a side job stealing trash bags. This person noticed that his trash bags were always missing, so he set up a camera to find out why. I bet he was- Somebody asked, what's the four scary Korean movies? I have them saved. I don't even remember the name of them or even where they're at. You know, as far as I have them saved and where I got them saved lets me know where they're at. That's all I can tell you. Just as shocked as we are. Why on earth would those pesky critters steal trash bags? I guess we'll never know. Number one, Ghost Sighting. Last video clip. Cemeteries are no strangers to paranormal sightings. Big facts. And the Oakland Cemetery didn't disappoint. Take a look. Look at this guy right here. What the? What am I seeing? I think this happens like every year around this time. It's so weird. It's like at a cemetery. And up here you have Christmas carolers. behind me watch my step here give me one second the video was taken at the oakland cemetery during the annual victoria holiday the uploader wanted to give a grand tour of this seemingly boring occasion and he captured something strange that he didn't notice until he reviewed the clips days later christmas carolers A ghostly figure seemed to have been watching him the whole oh, time. Oh, snap. I didn't even notice that. I saw this dark area right here, and I was thinking maybe somebody was standing behind him, but maybe that's a part of the bush or a separate bush. I didn't notice that. That's cool. Heard as he flipped the camera view. Creepy. Sure, that could have been someone in Halloween makeup going about scaring people in broad daylight, but what if it was a wandering ghost of someone who was buried there? Well, oh, yeah, I wasn't playing about them lights. We're already at almost 900. Heather, what's popping? Brand new whip just hopped in. Let you decide. 
Hey, here's a playlist full of creepy stuff caught on camera for you to enjoy. Don't forget to bump the like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spook first. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark. Stay in the dark. Hey, um, Felicia, I just, if you scroll up a little bit, I just put my email in the chat. I just put my email in the chat. Um, you can send it to that email address. B-A-O-K talks at gmail dot Y'all. Thank y'all for exceeding the 800 likes. That means it's time for one last video. Then I gotta go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, oh. I hate when that happens. It's, it didn't used to happen back in the day, but I don't know. Something's changed. Y'all, it's Nukes Top 5. This is 10 scary videos to cry yourself to sleep. Man, this video's long. I screwed up. I screwed up big time. Um. I hope y'all got another 45 minutes in y'all because that's how much longer we're about to be. Urban explorers from the YouTube channel Urbex Castronautica visit the historic La Plata Cemetery in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Oh, Urbex Castronautica, look. So we got an Urbex Hill and uh, this guy. The cemetery was built in 1886 and is the final resting place of many notable figures. But while wandering through the huge cemetery's 12,000 tombs and vaults, guys stumble upon a crypt that has been vandalized. Their camera captures something downright chilling. The disrespect. Oh, wow, those are coffins. These people's final resting place. Those those coffins are giving vampire vibes. I'm not gonna lie. Did you see it? No. Well, neither did the guys who filmed it. Of course not. You see, after posting this video to YouTube, their sharp-eyed viewers were freaked out when they noticed a creepy little pale hand pulling back into an open no, coffin. Mom is now, it happened so quick that it's hard to see without brightening the footage and analyzing it frame by frame. No, mom but when the footage is converted to a negative image, the spooky little hand is a bit easier to see. No, mom, just wait. Now, it's very unlikely that anyone could have crawled into that coffin to fake this. This crypt is very old and unstable, and it would be very dangerous for someone to just climb inside. So did this group of urban explorers accidentally capture proof of the paranormal? Well, as usual, you decide. Woo! You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Castronautica. Trapped. In this next video, a man is taking a short video of a car that he's planning to sell. The vehicle belonged to his sister, who tragically passed away right inside the car over a year and a half ago. After sending the footage to a potential buyer, he gets an alarming message saying he should really check the video closer. Hey man, here's this, uh, here's my sister's car. Just wanted to make this video so you can have a look at it. She still runs good. Uh, she's a little dirty. She has a lot of miles on her. But uh, it can clean up nice. Here's the front. A little back. Here's some of the back. But I don't know. Uh, if you're interested, just uh, let me know what you think. Throughout the footage, the faint sound of a woman crying can be heard. The video was shared online by these dark adventures and quickly gained nearly 500,000 views. In the video comments, many concerned viewers believe that the voice belongs to the spirit of the man's sister who passed away inside the car and that her soul is still trapped, unable to move on. Welcome, Sandra. 
Empty motorcycle motorcycle mystery. In the city of Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines, a motorcycle rider is driving down a busy road that is notorious for being the site of many fatal accidents. He is about to experience something that is truly bizarre. Slow it down, buddy. You know about this road, all them accidents. Yeah! <laughs> what the? Oh, heck no. Nah. What if there's ghosts out here just causing accidents like that? Because he definitely drove through them or something. Look, look, look. And then right there, they're gone. What? What the what? Bro, what if he, oh my God, thank God he didn't like hesitate and end up crashing. That was crazy. Bro, if I was him, I'd never ride on that road again at night. If I do, I'm riding 10 miles an hour. As someone appears to jump right into the motorcycle's path, but when the rider looks back, wow. there's no one there. That's crazy. But it gets even weirder because the motorcycle rider claims that whoever this was, they didn't appear to have a face, only a strange dark blur. Now, many locals believe that the rider saw the ghost of someone who passed away on the dangerous road. But if this wasn't anything supernatural, then just what happened here? Let me know what you think. Man, that was it don't look like he filmed that in two takes either. That looked legit. Ready Easer slash Realtor Sandra is recording a tour of a 1960s bungalow style home to show prospective buyers. Sandra's filming at night in order to showcase the house's interior lighting. I don't think Sandra gonna sell this house. But it's starting to get a bit late at the creepy little cottage. And things are about to get weird. It's already weird. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. Shout out to everybody that found, we seen this video clip already. Shout out to everybody that found the link to the password to get into the website. I'm gonna be shouting you guys out at the end of the stream. We got about 30 more minutes. Get it together. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this vintage 1963 bungalow. Time to go. Bruh. And she did by herself, not me. She ain't no way. She ain't no way. Go ahead, do it again. You gonna talk to her like that? She crazy. You're on camera. She is crazy. Go ahead. 
time, do it again. I'm not scared. I am. I'm scared for you. She crazy, yo. She said talk to the dog. If she think this is gonna get her sales, it ain't. It's gonna do the opposite. Nobody wanna buy a hundred house. Y'all, we got 1,300 live viewers. Y'all think we can get 1,000 likes before the end of this live stream? Let's see. suddenly swings open on its own. That got me. I don't remember that. Y'all remember that happening? I do not remember that happening. And then Sandra is spooked, but she gathers her courage and rushes out to see what's going on. A glass of water sitting on top of the fireplace shifts and slowly moves as if it's being pushed by some invisible force. But things get even crazier as a smoke detector suddenly starts to beep before crashing violently to the floor. With that, Sandra has had enough. Bro, if that smoke detector fell on her head, that would've been funny. Just gets out of there. But there's also something else that is very creepy in this video. Something that only a few viewers even notice. So again, I ask, did you see it? Uh-oh, nope, I didn't. Right before the door moves, a face in the picture right beside Sandra seems to slowly darken. Oh yeah, I remember that now, that's crazy. And then the creepy little shadow fades away just as the door swings open. Sandra says that she's experienced several unexplained paranormal events in this home, but this was the first time that she finally captured it on camera. Tracy, welcome. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Nukes, Later. baby! Reddit user Saib Seb says that his mother is taking care of a young foster child at her home in England. Monique done came through with the big donation. $400. The queen of the stream. Thank you, baby. You know I love you. We appreciate you. The channel appreciates you. Forever. Yeah, she don't never say nothing. She just, just, just here you go, and just leaves and every time. I don't even, I don't even be knowing she here until she drop a donation. That's crazy. She don't say nothing at all. One night, a TV is playing a cartoon in the child's bedroom, but the flickering light from the screen reveals something that the Reddit user and his mom simply can't explain. Something that is downright creepy. Bruh, what the? Get out. Get it out. Get it out. Get your baby out. It's a dog in that chair and it's looking and it's going away and reappear and it disappeared and it reappeared and it got big black eyes and it's gone now. Someone seems to be seated in the chair. Oh, hey. A small pale face illuminates in the flashing light from the TV screen. Y'all, the hairs on the back of my neck standing up right now. Y'all know I don't like dolls. Then the face just disappears. Reddit user Saib Seb wonders if his mother's security camera accidentally captured a paranormal presence. She captured but something. What do you think this is? The Fond du Lac UFO. Around 2 a.m. for Hey, I like aliens. Sabanale and her family friends are driving home to Fond du Lac, Saskatchewan, Canada. Suddenly, Florissa spots something very odd in the night sky. Would you? It looks like a plane? UFO, right? Yes. That's a UFO. Yeah. Come here, Yeah. Uh, just stay right there. Look, it's just above there. Are you recording it? Yeah. <gasps> That's a UFO. You can just see it. Yo. <laughs> That's awesome. We're well, hiding on. <laughs> That's that's awesome. Bro, you can just see it. It's like the that was just awesome. Recording it. Man, they go lie. That was awesome. Do it on YouTube. Bro. 
molten spikes. Everyone is shocked as they witness a strange circular object with flashing lights soaring through the sky. Larissa's mother posted the video to Facebook and friends and local residents immediately began to respond. That You're right, Monique does deserve some merch. M Monique, reach out to me, woman. You don't never say nothing about that. Re reach out, I will send you some free merchandise. For driving them crazy, don't they? You want, you want some hoodies? You want a hoodie? Whatever hoodie you want. Blanket, whichever one you want. Tank top, whichever one you want. I don't care. Whatever you want, send me your information at the alktalks at gmail.com. They too have seen the strange UFO. Eyewitness reports in the thread go all the way back to January 1990. So just what could this mysterious flying object be? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I think it's a UFO because it's unidentifiable. Follower. Easy. Nick Perry says that late one night he was driving down the allegedly haunted Dyers Lane Road in Roseville, California. He says that he saw an ominous dark shadow figure appear in the middle of the road. Nick believes that this dark entity followed him home and says that he now experiences terrifying paranormal activity. So back in 2022, I shared Nick's story on Nuke's Top 5 along with some of the scary footage that he had captured. Since those videos were recorded, Nick Perry has moved to a new house in a new city, but he believes that the dark entity has followed him. I just got home, and uh, as I was walking in, I heard some banging noises in here. So that's why I'm sitting at the camera right now to find out. That is dark. It is. Max, shut up. Get out of here. What's that? Yo, there was a shadow moving right there. That was real, y'all. There was no There was a shadow right there. There was no jump cut. He got the camera so quick and showed us. That's crazy. That's wild, man. Nathan with a three dot don't know big baby. Nick decides to leave several cameras recording when he's away from home. When he reviews his footage, he is shocked. Disrespect. Slamming doors. Dear respect, foe. Oh, snap. Dang, that would definitely freak me out. You set a camera up on your kitchen bar and let it record and then something runs up from behind it and knocks it over? No, you got to be kidding me. Nick says that he's reached out to several churches and religious authorities, but no one has helped him. As of today, Nick says that he continues to experience paranormal events in and around his home. He shares his dark experiences over on his YouTube channel. Mimic. Leandro from Buenos Aires. Hey, Steve, we need a V on there. It's the A-OK -okay Talks. Reach out to me. Monique, so I can get see some merch. Aries Argentina says that he began to experience strange, unexplained events only weeks after moving into his new home. He says that he would often discover that many of his belongings had been inexplicably moved into the house's bathroom. I saw it, Leandro installed a security camera to see what's been going on. But late one night, he captures something more than he bargained for. FTL, first time live, baby. Welcome.
I remember that. I remember that. I the think, is completely. I think I don't remember nothing else. Their normal experience. He decides to check into the history of his new home for answers. He is horrified when he discovers that in the 1950s, a family of four. Now this is not the same clip. My bad. Passed away in a tragic fire on the very same land where his house now sits. Mm. Another night, and Leandro has his friend Daniel over. And once again, it goes sideways. Look in the window, y'all. Look in the window. Something's there. Something's there. Y'all, my nose keep twitching, man. It been twitching like... Fuck. Ooh! A mysterious white figure can be seen passing by the window just outside Leandro's home. Then the item sitting on the nightstand get launched into the air Yo. by an invisible force. And Leandro and his friend Daniel jump up in shock. And now, this is when things get really strange. That's because Leandro crazy. claims that after this incident, the spirit that haunts his house actually began to imitate or mimic the sound of his friend Daniel's voice. Daniel. Si querés lastimarme, salí y lastimame ahora. Ya... Déjame de joder. Déjame de joder. I feel like there was a, a cut there. I feel like there was a jump cut there. Yo si no puedo vivir. Ya no puedo vivir. Ya si... no puedo vivir. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Yeah, we got 1400 live viewers, six more likes, 4,000 likes. Big brip. Leandro says that he's had more than enough of the strange supernatural activity in his new home. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Footprints. A woman named Kat lives in a remote area near the woods in Pennsylvania. One freezing cold morning around 4 a.m., Kat wakes up to find a light dusting of snow covering the ground outside. But then she notices something just outside her back door. Something truly disturbing. Hey, Heather. I mean, Heather. Karen. Karen, let me show you right quick. So... Since you're a channel member, I can show you this. And only channel members will be able to see this. So right here on my channel, you see where it says community? You click right there. And in this first post, you'll see the password to get into the website. Good morning, guys. It is literally 5 a.m. I opened the back door to put some dry food out for the stray kitties. And there are people feet printed all over my deck in the snow. Do you see this? They start over there. Bro, who walked there barefoot up there in the cold? It like barefoot walks up to the table. There's nothing coming up to the... Maybe there is something coming up to the door. What? And I don't see any in the yard. What is this? I see them kind of coming out of the flower bed. They stop there. I thought maybe they would have walked off through that flower bed, but I don't see anything there. It's like one straight line from out in the yard and it just up stops. to the door, turned around towards the table, and then just That's stopped it. moving. That's it. That one has like one, two, three, four, like six toes. That's six toes. So is that one. One, two, three, four, five. 
It is 16 degrees out. I have not gone outside yet. My cat came and woke me up hysterical, probably because there was some barefoot person on the deck. I'm just more concerned about like a mental health crisis because there's no reason to be out there barefoot. Now for obvious reasons, but what's trippy is, where did it go? Wh wh whoever those footsteps belong to, where did they go? Cat is a bit freaked out, but she's also worried that someone might be experiencing a mental health crisis and is wandering around in the freezing cold with no shoes. She calls the police, but she's reassured that no one has been reported missing or lost, and there have been no reports of trespassers or break-ins in the area. Cat is concerned, but she's done all she can and she just lets it go. But almost two weeks later, the mysterious footprints are back. Okay, morning footprint update. <clears throat> Thank you, Lisa. Let me show you. This is the first time we've had snow since the initial footprint sighting. Do you see that? They're barefoot again. They're in a different spot than The only way these footprints make sense to me, if I'm being honest, is that they're her front footprints and that she's doing this to go viral. And that the footprints ended at her doorstep because she just simply walked in the house. It's the only way this makes any sense to me. Unless there's a ghostly spirit that got some really strong footprints and is able to just dis disappear after it leaves his mark of footprints. That's all, that's, that's all I can think of. Those prints are in a different spot than when we had prints before. Of course they would be because it looked like that was the only spot on your back patio that had any snow. Let's go downstairs. It is seven o'clock. I, I've been up since 4.30. I didn't look outside. I just came up here and then I opened the window to see if any of the stray cats were coming up to the door yet because I didn't feed them yet. Thank y'all for the thousand plus likes. Appreciate y'all big mirror. I'm gonna stay right along the side so I don't interfere. Those are definitely very bare human feet, but there are not six toes on these that I can tell. I don't know. No, those are very clear toes right there. So the house next door has nobody living in it, so I'm not sure why the prince would be coming from that deck. Happy New Year. Cat purchased two security cameras to monitor the outside of her home, but the mysterious barefoot stranger hasn't returned yet so could this be something supernatural or is it something even scarier hey y'all real quick real quick shout out we almost got 1500 live viewers thank y'all all for being here tomorrow y'all gonna get a very exciting video it's oh man it, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all about it in a few minutes real person creeping around cat's house in the middle of the night i haven't even done the reaction yet heads up Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long is back, this time investigating an abandoned school in China that is said to be extremely haunted. As his live stream audience watches, Xiao Long begins to hear unexplained noises from somewhere in the building. He's a little on edge as he goes to check out the strange sounds. What happens next is... Just watch. Yeah, man. Xiaolong gets the fright of his life because of a plastic statue head. But luckily, Xiaolong delivers a good old-fashioned slap upside the head to put that statue back in line. But things are about to get a bit more serious and a bit more frightening. 
As Xiaolong explores deeper into the haunted school, this happens. inside a classroom rolls across the floor by itself. So Shalong chucks it out a window. But then the lights hanging from the ceiling come crashing down, almost hitting Shalong. Now, luckily the ghost hunter made it out safe, but he's not done just yet. Inside one of the school's many rooms, he finds a dirty old mirror. And this is when his exploration takes a terrifying turn. When his own legs reflecting in the mirror. He said, F your mother. to say that. In the mirror's reflection, someone can be seen standing behind Xiao Long, but when he swings around in terror, there's no one there. After an attempt at kicking and flailing at the invisible entity, Xiaolong finds that the reflection of the figure has disappeared. 
but now he spots a shadowy face peeking in from a window, and the heavy closet comes crashing down right in front of him. The activity is becoming a little too intense. Yo, good thing that didn't fall on him. That would have been... Ooh, we that would have been so bad. Shaolong decides to leave and ends his live stream. You can see even more terrifying moments from this ghost hunt over on the YouTube channel, Outdoor Shaolong. Y'all, we did it. We made it to the end of the live stream. Yo, that last clip was a trip, man. My man was screaming. He was petrified as to what was happening. Y'all, we're about to do these shout outs and then I will be out of y'all hair. Give me just a moment here. Let me catch up to where we left off with the last live stream. Misty, I think I ended off with you. Shout out to Misty. Elizabeth. Jacina, ooh, I like that name. Shout out to you, um, Jacoby, Zoli. Shout out to you, long term, long time supporter. That's Zoli's thirteenth order with your boy. Shout out to you, my guy. Let me see here. Zoli cops every shirt I've ever released. I think. Uh, Ricky, shout out to you, Gail, Pamela, Michelle, Debbie, Erica, Precious Smith, Mark. Um, who, who, how you say your name? Is it Shimmery or Shimmere? Shout out to you. Melinda, Kayla, Jeffrey, Chris, Nadine. Nadine with the double order. Shout out to you. I think Nadine with the triple order. Yeah, she ordered um, just a moment ago too. John Hudson, I saw you in the stream. Shout out to you. Brandon, Arthur, David with the double order. Christina Mack. Was that, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that, what? Michelle, Steven. Uh, Christian uh, Vasquez, shout out to you. Heidi, coming back in here with some more. Michelle, Michelle Goodwin right here. Sarah, Brandy, um, Yvonne. Yvonne, that's you? It is you. Shout out to you, Joseph. Ricky, this is Ricky Marshall right here. Veronica, Desiree. Um, not our channel member, Desiree, but it's spelled the exact same way. How about that? Veronica Carter, Hannah, Heather, shout out to you. Crystal. I saw you come in here with the order. Brandy, Bertha, Maxine, Felicia, Jerron, Amanda. Um, hold on, hold on. Oh, how you say this name? Antoine Antoinette? Anto Look, I can't say this one. This is a new one for me. <laughs> uh you Yanara? You, you know who you, you, Mommy, you know who you are. <laughs> I'm messing up your name for the first time. Um, Angelique, Brittany, Terry, Dominique, y'all. Pre-orders coming in crazy. This is insane. That was so, that was like, I don't even know how many people that was. <laughs> that was a whole lot of people that I just named off. Thank y'all so much for the support. Thank y'all so much. So, by the way, if you didn't catch it in the beginning of the live stream, everyone that's copping a pre-order this week, because I will be shutting down the pre-orders none of the pre-order merchandise will be available on the website after friday until the actual release date of the products which is going to be like three weeks from now <laughs> three weeks to a month from now i will be shutting down the pre-order so if you pre-ordered and you're a channel member you're going to get the exclusive if you're getting the, the hoodies you're going to get the exclusive aok -okay mafia where it's going to say aok -okay mafia on the sleeve anybody that's copping after the pre-order has ended you will not be getting the AOK -okay Mafia on the sleeve. That's just for the channel members and Patreon supporters. Head over there to the community tab on my YouTube page. I'm going to show y'all one more time because some people don't understand what that means when I say that. Let me find my channel right quick. I, I just had it up here. Oh, here it is. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. So when you come over my, to my channel, click on the community tab and that very first post which is right here, you'll see the password to get into the channel. And y'all have to Friday to get into the website, um, password to get into the website. And then, yeah, the pre-orders will be closed down after that and won't be open back until the actual release date, the merch drop, which will be next month. But anyway, I had fun. I had a great time. Thank y'all for hanging out with your boy. We're going to do this again real soon. And be ready for some content tomorrow. The video that I'm going to give y'all tomorrow is going to be this door, a dude telling the story. He's like a storyteller, almost like Mr. Ballin. And at first, I thought he was telling the story as like 
like he experienced this, but he's telling an account of another YouTuber who basically was trying to get, or not trying, but almost got initiated by the Illuminati. And he tells this story about how the Illuminati comes after content creators. Whew. Yeah, I remember if y'all watched my last um, TikTok conspiracy theory video, I was like, y'all, I'm scared. I'm scared. They might come after me, but I got some more information to share with y'all in that video. So y'all be on the lookout for that tomorrow. But anyway, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See ya.